Hey everybody, this is Gary. You know, there are two words that strike fear in the hearts of every single brand new driver, and that's parallel parking. I haven't had a student fail their road test because of parallel parking in literally years. Why? Because I've uncovered the secret. Now in the next 10 minutes, I'm not only gonna show you the best and easiest way to parallel park and nail it every single time, I'm also gonna show you how to make it even easier. So let's head to the whiteboard. So this is the parallel parking spot from above. These orange pylons, or cones as we sometimes call them, represent the car that's in front of the spot. And these three back here represent the front of the car that's in back of the spot. And then they want you to park, of course, in there. Now, in order to find the secret, we need to talk about lane changes. So, if we're driving along here in this lane and we want to change lanes into the left lane, well, obviously we check and we signal and we check. But the first actual physical thing that we do is steer in the direction we want to move the car, in this case to the left. Now, because the front wheels steer and the back ones don't, the car doesn't just magically slide sideways into the other lane. It actually does physically turn in that direction doesn't really feel like it because we're doing it over such a long distance that it's a very shallow angle. But if I exaggerate it, the car turns in this direction and it drives over like this. And then when we get over there, we have to turn back in the other direction to straighten the car out. Now we call this an S-turn. And it's the way that we move the car from one side to another. For instance, let's say we're backing into a parking spot here and we mess it up and we end up over here. Well, we use an S-turn to fix it. So we steer in the direction that we wanna go. Again, in this case, it's to the left. And then we steer back to the right in this direction. And now instead of the middle of the car being over there, the middle of the car is right here and we can back straight up into the parking spot. So what's the secret? Well, here it is. If we have cone, 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 we go up here and we go cone, 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 cone. And then we reverse the direction of the arrows. Oh my goodness, look at this. That is parallel parking. All parallel parking is, is a reverse S-turn. It's a lane change in reverse. You're changing lanes from the driving lane into the parking lane, only you're doing it in reverse. And once you know that, then all you need to know is when and where do I turn. So let's look at that. All right, so on the screen, you see the overhead of the examiner's parallel parking area. Uh, these pylons, again, that's your front car, this is the rear car, okay? First, you want to pull up approximately 50 centimeters away from this front car, or these pylons, you don't want to be too close, so close that you hit it, and you don't want to be any further than about a meter or three feet away. Let me just pause it there, or it'll mess up the angles. Now you want to pull ahead until the rear of your car lines up with the rear of this car. How do you do that? Well, most cars have a little window right behind the rear door or sometimes right in the back part of the rear door and it's in just the right spot so that if you look back through it and line this corner up you'll be lined up perfectly just like this that's what it should look like now if you don't have one of those windows then get somebody to help you by standing outside the car and telling you when you're lined up perfectly and then memorize where that pylon lines up from your driver's seat in your car so once you're lined up, you put the car in reverse, signal, and turn the wheel all the way to the right. Then you're going to back up at a nice, slow, steady pace, keeping an eye on your driver's side mirror. As you turn, first you'll see this pylon, then this one, and then that one. When you see the very top of this one, just like this, when you see that, don't stop, but immediately straighten your wheel. Now just straight, you don't want to turn left yet because you don't want to hit that pylon. Now you need to roll straight back until the corner of your car clears the corner of this front car represented by this pylon. Now you'll know it's clear when this corner cone, which represents the corner of the car, gets to the corner of your windshield. So just before it does, as you're rolling back, just before it gets to the corner, you're going to turn all the way to the left. 
and that's going to start you rolling around and straightening out. Now, you may have to adjust this step slightly for different vehicles. If you find you're always too far away from the curb, you have to roll back a little further before turning left, so let the corner pylon get further to the left in your windshield like this before turning the wheel. Or, if you're always too close or hitting the curb, you need to turn a little sooner, so begin turning when the pylon's a little further to the right in your windshield. Also, don't forget that when you're rolling back straight, car's going to want to roll back a little faster than it does while it's turning, so you may have to use a little more brake in this step to maintain a consistent speed. Now, as you continue to roll back and straighten out the car, make sure you look out the passenger side mirror, and that's going to show you when the car is perfectly straight, just like this. As soon as it is, stop, put the car in drive, pull ahead a little so you're roughly in the middle of the spot, and then park and set your parking brake. And there you have it. Now, to leave, we simply back straight up, looking at the back window, stop, put the car in drive, check your mirror and your blind spot, signal, check again, and then turn your wheel to the left and drive away. All right, so let's watch it again without pausing. You line up about 50 centimeters away from the car with the corner pylon in that little back window. You're gonna turn right, signal, and start to reverse watching the driver's side mirror. When you see the top of the third pylon, straighten. Then, just before the corner pylon, here, gets to the corner of your windshield, you turn all the way to the left. When the car's straight, you stop, pull straight forward, and you're done. To leave, just back up straight, Check, signal, check, turn left, and drive away. Now, most people find this method very easy, but if you are struggling to get the timing right, you can modify it slightly and stop every time you have to turn the wheel. Now, it's not as impressive as doing it all in one motion, and let's face it, your job on the road test is to impress the examiner. However, it is allowed. So this method starts exactly the same way. You line up the same, you signal, turn right, and reverse watching that driver's side mirror and count the pylons. Now, instead of turning as soon as you see the top of pylon three, we wait till we see all of pylon three like this, and then we stop, straighten the wheel, and continue back. For the next step, instead of turning left just before the cone gets to the windshield corner, you wait till it gets all the way to the corner. Stop, turn left, and reverse till you're straight. Then the rest of it is just exactly the same. You pull forward, stop, park the car. To leave, you reverse, check, signal, check, put the car in drive, turn left, drive away. So there you have it, the secret to parallel parking. You do those steps, you're going to nail it every single time. Drive safe. We'll see you soon.